Dying for a date? Aching for a little prick of... Passion? Well, be careful what you wish for. Or like the young man in tonight's terror tale, you may just get it. I call this nauseating number loved to death. Good old Edward. He should have stuck to sending mash notes. Maybe then he wouldn't have ended up in a state of holy deadlock. So, was it good for you too? Ooh, talk about head over heels. <laughs> to assume the position, if you know what I mean, and prepare for another assault and battery on your senses. Tonight's seamy saga is about a nice young man with a very bad attitude. In fact, it's positively criminal. <laughs> I call this little game of chops and clobbers carrion death. Poor Diggs. Here today, leftovers tomorrow. Boy, talk about flipping someone the bird. <laughs> Personally, I'm with the buzzards. Except I like my meat a little more. Well done. Cook them, Dano. <laughs> Greetings, boars and ghouls. I'll be with you as soon as I finish with this customer. We were just going over some of the terms of his coverage. <sighs> ah. I'll bet this is one clause he won't be getting out of. <laughs> Tonight's nasty nugget concerns a man with a problem. He wants to collect on his life insurance without dying in the process. I call this little annuity, the trap. Poor Lou. I bet he wished now that he'd gone for the term life. Even a life term would have been an improvement. Although you gotta admit, he's never looked so juiced about his future. <laughs> so what do you say? Can I interest you in a policy? The benefits are great, but the screamiums will kill you. Any other name would smell as sweet. Unless, of course, it isn't dead yet. <laughs> Tonight's tawdry tale is about a man who's gravely concerned about matters of life and death. Why he'd care about that remains to be seen. <laughs> I call this putrid piece Abra Cadaver. Tsk, tsk, tsk. And Coral thought he was the family's practical choker. Wanna play doctor? Then open wide and say... Culture Vultures, and welcome to another installment of Mash to Pieces Theater. <laughs> Tonight's
right we ask the question, to be or not to be? Or in this case, an actor stuck with an average face, who's so sick and tired of auditioning, he's willing to do almost anything. Did I say almost? <laughs> I call this sickening saga Top Billing. Bravo! Encore! Well, Barry axed for the part and he got it. But typical Barry, they still couldn't use his face. It's just as well, the critics would have cut him to pieces. <laughs> I'm calling my agent. I've waited all my death to play the part of Yorick. So until next time, kiddies. Hello? I'd like to speak with my agent. What do you mean he's in a beating? Welcome aboard, Fright Seers. Looking for a little holiday fun? You've come to the right place. We specialize in all sorts of package tours. <laughs> so what'll it be? A few days in a scream park? Or would you like me to book you into a nice quiet dead in breakfast? Or perhaps you'd like to go treasure haunting like my friend Red. He wants to steal a priceless black pearl in a tasteless tidbit I call... Dead Weight. Ooh, talk about being headed off at the pass. <laughs> We've got a guest, kiddies. Whoopi, it's a pleasure to meet you. I want you to know that I loved your movie, The Killer Purple. That's color purple, Crypt Keeper. Oh. Right, well, um, congratulations on winning that Academy Award. Well, thanks, but it's actually called an Academy Award. Whatever. Look, it's a pleasure to meet a big star like you. Now, you're a pretty big star. I mean, I'd love it if you'd be in my next film. Really? Yeah, it's just a bit part. I'm flattered. But you don't know what bit I want. Well, as long as I don't wind up on the cutting room floor. <laughs> okay. I want to suck your blood. Mm, that's not right. I want to suck your blood. No, that's not it. I want to suck... Oh, hello, kitties. You caught me in the middle of my homework. Your old pal, the Crypt Keeper, is a real believer in continuing education. <laughs> Which brings us to tonight's murderous morsel. It's a juicy little tale about a real bloodsucker who never learned to go for the jugular. I call this plasma play the reluctant vampire. Ah, it's good to see two lovers so batty about each other. Now that's a relationship they can sink their teeth into. <laughs> For me, I've got to get back to work. Exams, you know. I hear the finals are real pain in the neck. Not that I'm worried or anything. So far, all my marks have been perfect. Mmm. <laughs> Greetings, art lovers. Vincent Van Gogh here with another morbid masterpiece sure to paint you into a coroner. <laughs> hmm. Something
something's not quite right. Ah, yes. Yeah. Now that's a still life. <laughs> Tonight's tale concerns a painter who's tired of people giving his work the brush. I call this pestilent portrait of the artist as a young mangler. Easel kill ya. Well, Sharon's croaking is sure to leave a very bad taste on Jack's palate. What a shame she turned into such a... Mona Lisa. <laughs> you know, kiddies, some artists prefer watercolors, others prefer oils. But me? I prefer finger painting. <laughs> Quiet. Ah, fond felicitations, fiends. And welcome to the crypt. Tonight's sordid saga is about a couple of kids with time to kill. See, they're just dying to get into the horror movie business. And if they're lucky, that's exactly what'll happen to them. Lights! <laughs> Well, poor Sebastian. A brilliant career going down the drain. <laughs> As for the kiddies, Josh gave up on making movies. Seemed he didn't have the guts. And the others, they became lawyers. Must have been the taste of blood. After all, they were certain they'd gotten themselves a killer. I mean, who wears shoes like these except a killer? So until next time, see you later, alligator. <laughs> Just in time. I'm trying out a few recipes for my new Betty Croker cookbook. I hope you like shish kebab. Damn, it isn't ready yet. Bob's still moving. <laughs> Tonight's foul feast will begin with mashed potatoes, then move on to some shrieking duck, and finish with a nice kill bossa. I call this tasty tidbit, Morning Mess. Mmm, <laughs> pretty tasteless, wouldn't you say? I guess in the end, Mr. Sweeney learned not to go digging into other people's business. Although you'll be happy to hear he's found himself a new career. As a ghostwriter. <laughs> so, still hungry for dessert? I hope you like cannibal soup. It's mm mm good. Sometimes life can be such a grind. Know what I mean? That's why I like to get out every now and then and swing a little. <gasps> so much for his family tree. <laughs> Tonight's tale concerns a young woman who's about to do a little swinging of her own. She wants to prove that a good man is hard to find, but easy to get rid of. I think you'll like this little chopping spree I call Split Second. Mmm. Now that's what I call sushi roll. I guess Liz was right. A good man is hard to find, especially after he's been chopped into so many pieces. <laughs> Well, kiddies, I've got a little 
little chopping to do of my own. It's my producer's birthday. He's always wanted Final Cut. And that's exactly what he's getting. <laughs> What'll it be, stranger? Can I interest you in a Mai Dai? Or would you prefer a ramen choke? Or maybe you'd like something a little stronger? I've got just the thing. It's a nasty little snootful about a news hound named Charlie who needs a murder story and a drink. But not necessarily in that order. Ah, what some people won't do for a good stiff one. I call this little eye-opener... Deadline. <laughs> Poor Charlie. I bet he wishes that he'd killed the story instead. <laughs> Perhaps now they'll let him write for the paper's horoscope column. Care for another drink? Or should I just put a head on this one? <laughs> well, looks like Janet and Abel have become rather attached. Talk about being stuck on each other. <laughs> I guess the next time Janet wants to cable up, she'll be a little more careful about it. Anyway, I've got to get back to my game. What do you know? Pa for the corpse. <laughs> Squad, present arms. Hello, creeps. I was just about to fire off tonight's dead time story. It's about a young soldier who doesn't want to be in the army anymore. I can't imagine why not. I mean, war's a great equal opportunity destroyer. <laughs> now, where was I? Oh, yes. Ready? Mame? And here's my favorite part. Fire! I call tonight's tale... Yellow. I guess Martin finally learned his lesson. No guts, no gory. <laughs> well, gotta go, kiddies. It's time for my shots! Fire! <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh, yes! Boy, I get a bang out of that! <laughs> 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 